Over the past few months, a new phenomenon of YouTube videos has been surging in popularity. Children with unsupervised internet and webcam access have increasingly been live streaming themselves on YouTube in the hopes of gaining attention, boosting their popularity, and even becoming famous. Naturally, due to the open nature of the platform, their honest intentions are actively being exploited by pedophiles who watch and comment on these videos in real time. Children are encouraged to live stream themselves doing yoga routines, shower routines, dare challenges, and other topics that demonstrate clear ill intent on the part of the commenters, while the children themselves often remain oblivious to why these types of videos are in demand in the first place. Predators are coercing children into taking their clothes off, stretching and compromising poses, and showing the insides of their mouths, among other disturbing requests. The kids live streaming are none the wiser, however. They are made to believe that these requests are simply coming from other children watching their videos. They are threatened to fulfill these requests, with the negative repercussion of potentially losing subscribers or having their videos flagged if they refuse. From an adult's perspective, it's clear as day what is happening, and getting a video taken down is nothing compared to being exploited by predators. But these children are immature and concerned with creating successful YouTube careers, not with how they must protect themselves online. The behaviors of the commenters in these live streams are eerily similar to well-known child grooming tactics. The children are befriended in order to earn their trust and reveal more information about themselves. Children are routinely asked for phone numbers and email addresses by pedophiles so that they can remain in contact even after their live streams are taken down by YouTube. Fortunately, some of these live streams are being taken down, sometimes within seconds or minutes of being flagged by Good Samaritans. But the sheer quantity of channels and the ease with which new streams are set up means that flagging individual videos only delays the exploitation of these children. It is not a sustainable or long-term solution. Furthermore, reporting exploitative comments is difficult because they're often deleted by the commenters immediately after being read by the children hosting the live stream. This is not a simple problem that YouTube can solve without severely restricting the ability to upload videos due to the short-term nature of these live streams. The main issue at hand is that parents are either unaware of what their children are doing online, or they simply don't care. Often, the streams will occur with parents and older siblings in the next room, within earshot. In fact, predators even instruct children to give tours of their homes. There may be several reasons for making this specific request, but most likely it is to ascertain whether or not the children are home alone. In spite of these difficulties, there are steps that can be made to address the problem. First, we need a streamlined way to report the commenters on these videos. Because the comments are so quickly deleted, ultimately there is nothing to report, and all that can be done is to take the stream down entirely. Second, YouTube must do a better job of displaying when staff are present in the chat. Many predators trick children into believing that they are official YouTube representatives, or they will even ask children to grant them moderation privileges. This allows predators to mute users who threaten their grooming process, typically while telling the child that they are helping them by getting rid of drama or quote-unquote haters. The problem of children live-streaming themselves on YouTube is only getting worse, and predators are becoming more clever with time. Due to the speed with which some videos get taken down, children are now being encouraged to change the names of their videos to not fit certain keywords, such as routine and challenge which can easily be found by either YouTube moderators or other trusted flaggers. Those with malicious intentions will not stop just because they should be doing the right thing. It is all of our responsibility to make sure children are aware of the dangers that the internet can pose. Parenting is not a simple task, but if the foundation of responsible parenting is not ensured, then this exploitation will continue unabated.